and welcome Cognitive VR. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Robert. I'm from Cognitive VR. We help companies figure out what the heck people are doing in their VR experiences. And uh, we do insights for both VR and AR. As of our last weekend company hackathon, we now support HoloLens. That's good. Last year, Jaguar launched this really cool concept car called the iPace. Um, and they brought in about 66 people into VR. They did this really awesome um, showcase where they brought people in. They all looked at this brand new car. It was the first VR car launch ever. And uh, they took all the data that they had in there and they threw it right in the garbage. Um, this is happening with a lot of enterprise uh, VR use cases as well as AR. Um, and that's the problem we saw. We helped them figure out what those 66 plus all the thousands of people that downloaded it afterwards um, cared about in their, in their VR experience. So we help people extract value, insights, how users behaved in their VR and AR experiences. This is what our product looks like. On the bottom left, we have Calder in our office playing around with his VR sports car. On the bottom right, you can see his eye tracking and what he's doing in VR. And in the middle, that's our product. We call it Scene Explore. We take all of your data and all of your geometry from your 3D scene, throw it onto our web dashboard so you don't have to install Unity or anything to see analytics. And we kind of build this Google Street View for VR. Um, and then we overlay all the analytics data, including gaze, including object engagement, including um, aggregation of data, all right into the 3D context of your scene. This is useful for people doing things like architecture, car design, even people doing research on things like video, like Nielsen, and, um, and even um, people building furniture. We're very focused on enterprise. We have about 200 people on the indie gaming side who have installed and used our platform. Um, but unfortunately for us, indie gamers do not have uh, budgets for analytics. Enterprises do. Um, the three main verticals where we're seeing a lot of traction is, um, like I said, retail, architecture, and car product design. Instead of building $2 million clay models for a car, build it in VR, bring in user testers, and instead of a person sitting behind the people with a cl uh, clipboard, just install us and we'll tell you how people behave. We're seeing way more traction on enterprise, like I mentioned. We start at $5,000 a month, software as a service, all the way up to 25,000 MRR. I'm happy to talk about the fact that we just got revenue as of three days ago, so that's really exciting. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so this is what our product looks like. We have a really, really powerful analytics dashboard. We can do, um, tell you about object engagement, what people did. Did they care about the new steering wheel you're testing out in your 2019 Ford Mustang? You know, which segments cared about it? And then we take all that data and show it to you in 3D as well. So it's not just a chart and a graph. You actually see, like, what did people actually look at and care about? And finally, we have exit poll. Exit poll is a user feedback tool that's all integrated as well. So you get the qualitative analysis um, things like, you know, did you like our product? Did you notice th this new feature? Yes or no? And then you go in and you see, okay, people who didn't notice our new feature, let's go see the aggregate of that. So we figure out why people didn't notice something we're trying to build. Go to market strategy. We have two main channel partners. There's DDM on the games and entertainment side and Charles, Charles River Analytics for our de defense and government contracts. This, these are things like training, Air Force, stuff like that. Um, and our founder is on a, uh, basically a plane 24-7, usually in the Detroit area, maybe talking to car companies, if you know what I mean. Um, Tony's our founder. He exited an analytics company previously, took all those insights to here. Um, I've personally uh, worked on a couple startups before and, until I found out that VR existed and I could work on what I've always wanted to work on in my life. And uh, we're looking for two things, um, $1.5 million seed round. Um, we've already committed about 300,000 of that. We're also looking for uh, people to help us grow into the enterprise uh, analytics behemoth that we know we could be. Thank you very much. Very good. So, so how long does it take to set up a new scene or onboard a new environment into the platform? Uh, it takes about 20 minutes for the base install. Um, to customize it, a couple hours at max. What, how do you actually integrate? We integrate at the uh, engine level, so Unity, Unreal Engine. We've also spoken to uh, Autodesk about their Stingray and VRED platforms. Um, that's really popular with car companies, so. Oh, so the customer has to be using one of these platforms first? Uh, yeah, that's correct. Sorry, okay. I forgot to, uh, so all of our customers so far have VR AR teams. Like, we're not educating them on VR AR. 
They already have content. They already have teams working on it. They just have no insights and behavior data. Great. Is this appropriate for consumer style companies? I, I get why you're using it with the car companies, but a gaming company like Alchemy Labs or something, could they use this and get insights yeah. from it? Yeah, so we, we've had people on the gaming side approach us and we've, they've been tremendously great beta testers. Um, the problem is there's not that much money in there for us, so we focus on enterprise, but definitely if you're a, if you're a gaming company, it totally applies. Okay. Cool. Great job, Cognitive VR.